In today's notes, we're going to continue using formulas in geometry, but we're going to specifically look at the area and circumference of a circle. So recall that in a circle, the degree measure of an arc is equal to the measure of the central angle that intercepts the arc. So this central angle right here, AOB, intercepts arc AB. And as you can see, their measures are equal. Okay? In the first column of the table, let's review the area and circumference formulas. So parts of the circle are drawn and then the circumference laid flat as that's the distance around. So these two formulas are on your reference sheet. You don't have to have them memorized. Area of a circle is pi times r squared and circumference is pi times diameter or 2 pi times the radius, as a diameter is two radii. And I want you to note that pi is equal to the ratio of circumference to diameter. So using those two formulas, we can find the arc length. So the next column, arc length is the distance along an arc, and the arc of a circle is right here. So you want to walk along the circle from point A to point B. That is arc length. That arc length is a portion or a fraction of the circumference of the circle. Moving right, a sector of a circle is this whole area right here. It's like a piece of pie or a slice of pizza. And that's a portion of the area of a circle. So if you look at that portion or fraction, that's a part of the whole. And in a circle, we have 360 degrees. So this degree measure, I'm going to call it theta, so it's that degree measure over 360, that portion times 2 pi r. Once again, how much of the circle? The portion theta over 360 times the total area pi r squared. You can look at this also in terms of ratios. So the left side of the ratio would be the same, theta over 360. So that's how much the circle out of 360 equal to the arc length because that deals with the part where the whole deals with the circumference which is 2 pi r. In terms of ratios for area it's theta over 360 equals the area of a sector, so when you do it in terms of a pi piece, to the area of the whole thing, which is pi r squared. So I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to use both, okay? I'm going to do the fraction times the whole circumference or area, and then I'm going to look at it in terms of a proportion or in terms of ratios, and you can pick which method you want to use. So number one, what is the arc length to the nearest tenth? of an arc with a central angle of 60. So let's draw a picture. So here's a circle. I'm going to draw my radius horizontal. So 60 degrees and I'll straight up is 90, so I'm going to say 60 is here. The radius of the circle is 5 inches. So 5 inches. We're looking for arc length, so I'm looking for this here. So I'm going to first do it method one as a fraction of the whole circumference because we're dealing with arc length of the outside of the circle. So it's 60 degrees out of 360 times 2 pi r. So 2 pi times 5. Now when you reduce the fraction, 60 goes into itself once 60 goes into 360 six times. Put this over 1 and multiply straight across. 1 times 2 pi times 5 is 10 pi. 
over 6, which reduces to 5 pi over 3. And then we'll go to the calculator. The other method, okay, so you can do it that way, or this method, is to say, well, 60 over 360 equals, now since I'm trying to find the arc length, I'm going to call this x and the proportion over the whole circumference for a total of 360, um, which is 2 pi times 5, we said before, uh, 10 pi. So if we reduce again 1 over 6 and do a cross product, we have 6x equals 1 times 2 times pi times 5, or 10 pi. Divide by 6, and x is equal to 10 pi over 6, which is the same thing we get here. So when we type 5 pi over 3, we get 5.235 dot dot dot. It's irrational. We're rounding to the nearest tenth, so it would be approximately, what is the arc length? The arc length is approximately 5.2. Now on your state test, you would want to show that this decimal is 5.23597756. So we can at least get you a point if you make a rounding error. All right, number two. Find the central angle of the circle below to the nearest tenth, given the arc length and radius. So this arc length goes with this portion of the circle. So here would be in this angle, theta. We have a radius of 15. So if I know the arc length, so I got 56.9 by doing theta over 360, because that was your fraction of the total circumference. So that would be times 2 pi times 15. Or you could set it up as, okay, theta over 360 equals, so it's the area, or in this case, the arc length of the circle to the circumference of the circle. And we know that the arc length is 56.9 to 2 pi times 15. And that looks like 16. So solving the one on the left, okay, we have 56.9 equals, well, this is over 1, and 2 times 15 is 30. And 30 goes into 360 12 times. So now multiplying straight across, we'll have um, theta times pi over 12. Multiply both sides by 12, and we'll end up with theta times pi equals 682.8. Divide by pi, and theta equals... 217.3419903. Rounding to the nearest tenth, um, the central angle measures about, since we rounded, 217.3 degrees. So don't forget your unit of measurement. Over here, we should get the same thing. So if we cross multiply, we end up with 2 times 15 is 30. So 30 pi theta equals, and then 360 times 56.9 is 20,484. Divide by 30 pi, you can divide by the 30 pi in one step. Just put it in parentheses, and let's see if we get the same answer. If you don't want to put it in parentheses, um, you can first find the 30 pi, 
and then take 20,484, divide it by, hit the arrow button to go up, highlight it, hit enter. So it'll take that irrational number and substitute that for you. And you can see you get the same thing, 217.341. Um, for theta. Okay? Number three, find the area. So we're going to switch from the circumference formula to the area and um, I'll once again do it both ways and then I'll pick a method. Find the area of the sector. Now um, we need to know theta, this angle here, you remember that's the same as the arc so this is also 80 degrees. Radius is given as 3, and the area of a sector would be the fraction of the whole. So 80 over 360 times pi times 3 squared. If you'd like to set it up as a proportion, it's 80 over 360 equals x, which is the area of the sector, over the whole area, which is pi times 3 squared. So 80 over 360, can we divide it by 40 um, and 10? Let's divide it by 10 first. Let's, I'm going to do 10, so this is 8 over 36 because 3 squared is 9 and 9 goes into 36. 4 times and then 8 over 4. Um, is 2 and bring down the pi. So a lot of reducing there and canceling. Over here it would be 360x equals 80 times 9 pi is 3 squared is 9 which would be 720 pi. Divide by 360 and x equals 2 pi. And if you're finding an area, it should be in terms of pi um, and also says in terms of pi. Okay, so the area of the sector equals 2 pi inches squared. Last two. It says the gray sector area is equal to 30 pi inches squared. What is the radius of the circle? And then given the area of the sector, what's the area of the whole circle? Okay. Um, part A. So the area of the sector, which is 30 pi equals what? So we put in how we, or how they found that, which was 300 over 360 times pi r squared. We can divide out the pi. We can also reduce. 60 goes in there five times. 60 goes in there six times. And we end up with 30 equals 5 r squared over 6. Multiply by 6. 180 equals 5 r squared. Divide by 5, and we have r squared equal to 36. Undo the square with the square root, and the radius is 6 and negative 6. However, we can't have a negative radius, so therefore the radius is 6. 6 inches. Now, what is the area of the whole circle? So using that area, the area of the whole circle is pi times r squared. So pi times 6 squared would be 36 pi inches squared. And then last, it says a circular plot with a 720 foot diameter is watered by a spray irrigation system. To the nearest square foot, what is the area that is watered as the sprinkler rotates through an angle of 50 degrees. So you can draw one of these separate circles. The diameter is 720, whoops, that's feet. So that means our radius 
is going to be 360 feet. We have the sprinkler rotating at an angle of 50 degrees. So we are going to find, so again, straight up 50, maybe about here. We're going to find out what is the area that is watered as the sprinkler, sprinkler rotates through that degree measure. So the area of this sector, um, I'm going to do 50 out of 360 times pi r squared. And you can do the ratio. And I put this over 1, I can do a cross cancel. So I'm going to take away one of those 360's to cancel out with that one. As 360 squared means 360 times 360. And I'm left with 50 pi times 360 over 1, which is just 50 pi times 360. Typing that into the calculator, 50 pi times 360. We have 56,548.66776. We're rounding to the nearest square foot. So about or approximately 56,549 square feet is watered.